parkour is a sport on the up and up. This gym in Scottsdale, Arizona is one of a growing number of specifically designed parkour gyms in the United States. Christopher Smith is one of the coaches here. Generally speaking, parkour from someone who's never, never heard of it or never done it before, it's going to be an obstacle negotiation type of sport. So you're getting from point A to point B. Um, essentially, we're doing that as efficiently, as safely, um, and as in intricately as you want. Parkour is more of a self-expressive um, type of sport, so you're not necessarily competing against somebody else. Um, in most cases, if you're just the individual learning it, you're trying to really compete against yourself. So every day you're going out and finding challenges that are slightly bigger. Originating in Europe in the 1980s, parkour has been growing globally ever since. The Scottsdale Parkour and Freerunning Gym teaches both disciplines. Whilst parkour is based on speed and efficiency, freerunning is centered around style and aesthetics. One of the regular students at the gym is 15-year-old Nathan Cowles. The community, they're really great people. They're really, they're really supportive. It's just the movement and how cool it looks and how it can really get your endurance up. It can get you in a lot of physical shape. It can also get you ready mentally because you also have to overcome all the obstacles that are going to be put in front of you. Uh, if you want to get a jump, then you need to like train your mind into getting able to get the speed and getting that brain block and that mind block and just kind of getting rid of it so you can go and uh, make the jump or the flip or whatever you want to do. The Scottsdale Gym is open to all ages and skill levels. Since opening over eight years ago, the numbers of people coming here has grown year on year. With age groups and what kind of people we really have coming into this gym, it's, it's such a broad spectrum. Parkour is such an individual sport. It's about you as a person, not so much competing about someone else. And because of that, it doesn't matter who you are, you can always compete against yourself. Um, so whether you are a four-year-old, you can barely run across anything, or someone who hasn't moved in quite a while and you're in your 60s, there's gonna be something for you to do because it's challenging yourself. You are trying to overcome your own challenges. One of the little ninjas training at the gym is Nathan's younger sister, Natalie. The 12-year-old has a passion for cats, and like her feline friends, she can often be found climbing trees. As one of the few girls involved in parkour, Natalie is keen to see more join the program. We can show the boys that we can do stuff too, because sometimes whenever I'm about to do a flip or something, they say, oh, she's just going to jump or something, and then I show them that I can do a flip, and then they just stand there like... <laughs> the sixth grade school student initially began with diving and tumbling as her main sports. However, the lack of freedom in the latter saw her follow in her big brother's footsteps by taking up parkour, where acting like a cat is actively encouraged. Sometimes I run on four legs and the coaches don't even mind. As for Nathan, he has started coaching the younger age groups on the weekends. And the self-proclaimed American monkey always finds the time to give his sister a helping hand. She enjoys climbing, she enjoys uh, swinging on the bars, and that's something she's always loved. And to see her, you know, pursue it, and to make maybe a good career out of it. I don't know if she wants to pursue it, but that'd be awesome if she would because she's super good at it and she's just really enjoying it for the most part. I mean, it's just awesome to see how much me and her can do it together and just bond over it and have fun between it. He's a nice brother because there's some, my friend has a brother who's not that nice. And, and <laughs> when I compare Nathan to that guy, um, I, I really, and he's just really awesome. I love him. Nathan is in his freshman year at high school and took up parkour around five years ago. He believes that the sport has helped him to become a better student in the classroom. 
I would probably say it impacts school because that's what I do a lot of my projects on. That's what I know a lot of background information on. If there's a project that I want to do in reading or if I need to make a story, I usually make it about parkour. If there's something like in biology, I had to like maybe come up with, oh, here's a solution on how to fix an ankle problem or something like that. Away from parkour, Nathan's other passion is filmmaking. He's already involved with the daily TV news program at school and hopes to carve out a career that combines his two favorite hobbies. I could see myself doing it for quite a bit because I just really enjoy it, I really love it. Uh, this is something that I can do maybe even with film because that is another one of my passions. So I could do, uh, make videos out of it, um, stunt work in the movies, that's another big thing with parkour. So by doing that, I'm still getting involved, I can still be in the movies, but I can still do also what I, also, um, I love, which is parkour movies mixed together, which would be amazing. Um, but I can see myself going really, really far in this, depending on whether it's just going traveling or making a group or a team, or just doing it for fun and coaching at the gym for as long as I can. The Scottsdale Gym is one of many across America to have set up a parkour program as the discipline continues to grow in popularity. And with plans for the sport to be included in the 2024 Paris Olympics, you may see more of these breathtaking skills in the mainstream media for many years to come.